all right all right all right welcome back to the channel so for those who are new who have not seen anything on my channel i decided to do kind of another walk around but like a beginner's guide walk around on this bike and kind of what it features stock of course keeping in mind mine has been modified but kind of what to expect when you're looking into a cam riker so let's get to it So I do understand that sometimes the Riker is hard to uh, get like a demonstration on. You may not see anybody with one. You may be interested, but it's hard to get one from the dealer, etc., etc. So this is just kind of a walk around, slight little breakdown on the Riker and some of the features and how some of this stuff works. Just so you can kind of see it firsthand if you're interested in it. So starting here at the top, you have your gas, your gas goes in. You open and close this right here, and that's where your gas goes. Now, I know on the 20s, I think it's the 20s, maybe the 19s, the 20s. I'm not sure which year, but it's, it's one of those. Um, they don't come with the gas cap. You can buy the gas cap, um, but those years, I don't think have it. Uh, don't quote me exactly, but I, I think those are years that don't have it. Again, this is a 2021, so it came with one. You just open and close that. So this thing is really adaptive to your riding style so if you want to lean a little bit more sit up a little bit more you can do that the seat doesn't move but it's actually the handlebar that moves and so if you pop that sorry if i missed it so if you pop that you're actually able to adjust the handlebar so you can ride up a little bit more um, a little more leaned However your riding style is, um, you can do that. And so if you have, let's say, back problems or something like that, if you want to sit more straight up, all you have to do is uh, pull the uh, steering handle back and you'll sit up more upright. So that's a pretty also cool Also keep in mind, I've touched on it in maybe another video, um, and you'll see this from time to time within the, within the uh, Riker forms. That little set screw right there, make sure that is nice and tight because if that is loose, that means this is loose and when you're holding on to your handlebars, if you are leaning back, um, it will slide it forward. So there is that. So keep in mind, whenever you get a Riker, um, always check that set screw to make sure that it's nice. So if we come down to the right side of the vehicle, you'll notice this is kind of like an oil, um, kind of like an oil, um, kind of like an oil funnel. I used it when I did my oil change. I used that for the oil. So now that I've used it for oil, that's all I use it for, but that, uh, should come with the bikes. Um, I'm not sure about some of the older models, but I know at least the 21 it comes with it. Um, you've got your filter, and by the way, this is the CVT transmission side. On um, the other side is the um, the other side is the air intake side. But on this transmission side, you have your funnel, you have your air filter, you have your oil, you have your oil um, dipstick. And you also have, when I turn this around, inside you have a couple of instructions um, for your passenger drivers. And you also have, where are you? There we go, I lost, there it goes. If I can focus on it, it actually tell you your uh, tire pressures as well on the inside there. So all that's good information to have um, and to know where it's at. Uh, prior to buying your bike. mention down there at the bottom looks like would be your brake fluid now coming around to the front you have your front trunk area so to finish this up wanted to show you the rotors and the wheels again this is a 2021 um, Riker Sport so this is not the rally the rally has more a few more accents and a different wheel pattern than this one but on the Sport um, you do get these nice rotors. However, I think that the brakes are a little bit squeaky. I don't know if it's just the brakes or the rotors, a combination of both. Um, they're a little squeaky, but you get a nice little sporty look there. Here are the rims on the front. I think they're really nice, so I'm, I'm not planning on changing mine. I really like how these look. I think it's a really nice look on this bike. Coming around to the right side, check them out. And then in the rear, excuse the shad bag. I like how that rear 
wheel kind of dips in a little bit more gives it a nice little offset look it's definitely sweet so i really like these wheels and i'm definitely not changing so we've gone through all of that and so now you're pretty much ready to ride you're going to turn the bike on and i'm not going to show you that just because i feel like a there are tons of videos on how to turn on the riker and b if somebody leaves their key in their riker and they saw so happen to come across my video telling you how to turn on the riker and they steal your bike i don't want no parts of that so i'm not going to show you how to turn it on but we're going to go ahead and turn the riker on it's a little bit loud so i won't get really 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 in depth with this part but this is pretty cool and there's something that you would definitely want to know so the Riker itself goes I don't know about 110 miles an hour so it's, it goes it goes pretty fast um, let's say it goes that in about four seconds or so it's, it's a quick little bike keep it in mind it's not a racing bike but it is quick and uh, it's a whole lot of fun so just keep in mind um, that it is that there is a lot of speed on this bike it is quick and just be careful so a couple of things that you can do when the bike is on so you have your mileage um, until E you have your temperature engine temperature you have the time you have your gas gauge um, if I wanted to this button over here I can go to settings and I can change certain things I can change rpms I can change it to the fuel stat. I can change it to the range. And within settings, if I just put it on settings, let it sit there for a second. Let's see, it's been a while. I haven't changed anything in a good in a good minute. Let's see here. I can change, oh, you go to settings and hold it. You can change the units if you wanted to reset stats you can change the brightness you can clock you got all those things so we're going to exit out of there and we'll put it back on the fuel stack you can also go up on this top one and you can do your miles trip a trip b time and of course my favorite part about this if you come down to this bottom one again and hold it you can turn it on to sport mode, eco mode, and then take the eco mode off and you're just riding regular. So that's that's pretty cool. I usually always ride in sport mode. Um, I haven't really used the eco mode, but a sport mode, me in sport mode, I love some sport mode. There is so much on this bike to go through. Um, you have a high beam, um, you have your regular light, you have a turn signal left and right, and if you're turning left and you're and you don't make that full turn and the blinker is still blinking all you have to do is push it in and it will turn that blinker off and of course you have your horn so definitely this thing is a fun piece of equipment it is it's just dope i really like mine um loving every moment of it it's just a nice piece of freedom and uh yeah definitely definitely if you're thinking about getting it check it out find somebody that's got one ride it test it out it's definitely a fun piece of equipment. So I hope this guy, I hope this helps you guys in your decision. Um, keep it in mind, I have a lot of extras, windshield, back seat, shad bag, lights, all that kind of stuff, speakers. So when you buy yours, most likely it'll be a base model. A lot of the things are Can-Am official products. So the shad bag, the back seat, the windshield, you know, those things are Can-Am official products. So those can be installed, but base, 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 you're not gonna get those things but uh, they can definitely be added. So I hope this helps you guys in your decision and at least give you some kind of information on what this is and how this thing kind of operates. So until next time, you guys, like, share, subscribe, Riker fam, tap in.